Hi guys and welcome back. I hope we're doing well. So a little bit of a different video for you guys. I thought I would show you some of the new additions I've added to my wardrobe. So I have everything here on the rail. There is a mix of pieces on the rail. So we've got some new and we've got some second hand. So what I'm gonna do is each item I show to you guys, I'll tell you who it's made by and how I obtained it. So Depop new you get the drill <laughs> so we have quite a mix today we've got some outwear we've got denim bottoms tops accessories oh and a pair of shoes <laughs> so i'm gonna start with the furthest point away and then we will just work our way towards me so number one is then this new look baker boy hat so this i bought brand new from new look i love baker boys but i've never particularly been someone who has seen me as being someone who could wear one i've always been very envious of people who can pull them off and i just want to jump on i wanted to be one of those baker boy hat wearing peoples i couldn't decide though whether i wanted a full faux leather or a full fabric so the fact that new looks one was a bit of both was just the best of both worlds for me it's super comfortable it's a really nice quality and material and i'm very excited to to be able to wear this as we go a bit more into winter. <laughs> Number two, we then have this beautiful Urban Bliss Milkmaid's top. So you've got the beautiful puff sleeves, the ruffle detail that goes all around the collar and the neckline. And then here you can sort of adjust it around the bust. So for those who are bustier than oneself, it essentially means you can allow for more room or tighten it where needed. For me, I generally can't tighten it anymore. <laughs> There's not, it just doesn't allow for it anymore. But it's really, really flattering. It's so comfortable. It's honestly been a, a must have in my wardrobe. And this came from ASOS. I'd never heard of Urban Bliss before, but I just could not resist this beautiful top. Okay, so number two, is then this absolutely beautiful motel leopard print top. This is actually kind of like a milkmaid top as well. It's the same sort of cut. The only difference is all of the seam at the top is elasticated, so you can wear it off the shoulder and not have risk of exposing yourself. It's a really lovely length, so it is cropped, and then it's got a zip that goes down the side of the bodice. Honestly, I am obsessed with the sleeves on these tops that Motel make. So I already have one of these in a zebra print. And when I saw someone was selling the leopard, I I couldn't refuse. <laughs> so yeah, so this is Motel and I got this off of Depop. I've honestly, I know I'm gonna wear this to death. I just, I love it so much. <laughs> Number three is then this gorgeous, asymmetrical vest that I got from Stradivarius. I bought this brand new. It's honestly, it's such a perfect fit. I think this is the only company I found that in terms of buying like vests for my size, they are genuinely my size. If I stand here, you can then see, you can see the silhouette of it a bit better. It's honestly gorgeous. It's so comfortable. They are, it's just such a versatile piece as well. You can literally dress this to go up or a normal day. You can wear it in an office. It's just beautiful. So this one is also Stradivarius. So this is my all black high neck vest. I am obsessed. <laughs> I have worn this so much since it arrived. It is gorgeous. It is comfortable. It is flattering. Honestly, Stradivarius, Stradivarius, however people wish to say it. It's like a new brand to my wardrobe and I am honestly obsessed with them. Their quality, their pieces in general, everything is just so beautiful. I also want to point out that the fabrics they use are so soft. This is like having a constant hug. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> this is, again, another hugely versatile piece, dress it up, dress it down, do as you wish. I've worn this with like super baggy trousers or 
a pair of actual smart work trousers and honestly like you just get so many different looks out of it right so this next piece i haven't really thought about how i'm going to be able to show you it so i've bought a two-piece suit i got it off of depop and it's made by pretty little thing it's a feather suit so the top I'll try and show you <laughs> is a, a halter neck and then it's got the feather detailing all at the bottom so this is like a smart sass powerhouse kind of suit that's how i view it the trousers are boot cut and there's no pockets on them which i was a little bit disappointed about i like to have a pocket like i always have that's where like everything lives in my back pockets i don't really use a front <laughs> just as just as something about me and then the the zip it is quite literally a a zip that's at the right back of it so like in the center of the back is how you get in and out of it they are really sleek and really smart i really can't fault the quality of the suit it's beautiful i do need to have the trousers taken in a bit just because it's a bit big around my waist but i just thought it was a really nice suit quality of it is just phenomenal i think it was brand new but without the tags so it is just it's just so pretty okay so this is also soup themed soup related so this is my new blazer so this came from misguided and i got it second hand on depop there's a bit of a theme going on at the minute i am obsessed with feathers. I loved the blazer. The blazer is actually what started this all. I found the blazer and then I was like, I must find a suit to go with the blazer. <laughs> there was nothing I could find from Misguided, like second hand, but it is just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. And it's, it's like a jacket that I could wear for leisure. It's a jacket I could wear to go out. It honestly, is just so nice it's got one button which i prefer it's honestly it hugs your figure it's probably not going to do me any justice when i'm wearing these kind of jeans <laughs> but you know it honestly i can't help but but wear it and feel like a bit of a boss bitch feel like i own the room and that's really the kind of vibes I'm trying to go for at the minute. It's like a, it's like a blazer that's just radiating confidence. <laughs> can't get enough of it. I really can't. If I can encourage anyone to get something, let it be something that makes you feel like you just own the room. Right, the next one is going to be a bit of a two for one -er because I'm wearing... <laughs> I bought two of the same thing, but in different colours. So these beautiful, comfy, baggy jeans. And I also bought them in black. <laughs> I was wandering around Zara the other day and I spotted these jeans. The black ones were obviously the first pair I spotted because you know me, I, I love, I live and breathe black. <laughs> that is just, it's just me. And they didn't have any black in my size so i went in and i tried on their dark denim and then their light denim which is these ones right here and i really liked the light denim as well and also just putting them on just felt like i was wearing a cloud they are so so comfortable and i was kind of worried that they wouldn't be very flattering on so they've got like a paper bag is it paper bag effect and then i just put my belt on i have tried so many pairs of like mum jeans through like the course of lockdown and I have never found a pair that are as comfortable, as flattering, as cool and the pairs I do have I sort of kept to wear around the house because I knew when I went out in them I didn't feel good in them but these I wore these to host in last night and then I wore these to the office because like 
a pair of boots go with them, whether that's Doc Martens, like chunky heeled boots. <sighs> Honestly, everyone needs a pair. If you like comfy but stylish, these Zara baggy jeans are literally going to be your saving grace. <laughs> and they are quite literally just called baggy, like baggy jeans. They weren't down as mum jeans, they were down as baggy jeans. So, I know you can't like really see me in them, but take my word for it, they're splendid. <laughs> so, my next item are these faux leather leggings. This is the first pair I found that are for a short ass like myself. So these came from New Look, I bought these brand new. I don't have to roll them up, they are the perfect length for someone who is 5'3". Every other pair of skinny, moto, like faux leather in my collection have always been so long and I've had to roll them up, which I then think defeats the whole fucking purpose. And with a look like this, you don't really want to have that bulge from where you've rolled them up, like with these. So you have a zipper at the side. There are, again, no pockets. I cry. <laughs> but I can sort of forgive them. You do then have a button inside just, that just sort of helps as an extra bit of security. So if the zip does start to come down, you aren't gonna expose yourself and it's elasticated. So they're really comfy, they're nice and warm. So they're gonna be perfect for winter, for autumn, spring. They are just, they are just perfect. This next item, I never thought I'd be able to find a pair of these. So I have finally been able to add a pair of leopard print trousers to my collection. Can I have a round of applause? Thank you. So I have tried Zara. I have tried ASOS. I have tried everywhere to try and find a pair of leopard print jeans, jeggings, leggings, I don't care, that fit my goddamn waist. At this point, the length really wasn't a big deal. Like these are still long, I've had to roll them up, but to be fair, I kind of quite like that you get that break by the fact that I've rolled them up. I went into Next the other day, just spontaneously, and I saw these and I tried them on <laughs> and they fit, they fit, which I was quite pleasantly surprised with, so I I just couldn't say no. I was like, Jesus wept, it has taken me this long to find a pair. I I can't I can't not buy them. So these were new from Next. They are a very they're like an odd material. So they're not denim. They're not legging. But they almost look they I, I do think they're maybe pleather. I do think they're meant to be fake leather. It's only it's literally just taken to this moment in time for me to realise that. <laughs> But finally, just. Right, this, this last pair of bottoms was, an, was a real shock to me. So what inspired me wanting a pair of these trousers was Cruella, the live action film that they did. And there was someone in the background who wasn't a main character that I'd spotted an outfit for. And I have been on the hunt to recreate this outfit for quite some time and I had a a high neck black roll neck that was like that like fits me properly but I didn't then have some baggy black trousers that were high waisted. I finally found and bagged myself a pair of baggy wide leg high waisted trousers so I could complete my look. <laughs> Not just because I wanted to do one look, but because it just inspired me to be able to do like this, but instead wear these instead of, you know, and just be comfy. I've quite, I'm just really getting into being able to dress smart if I want to, but with like a Phoebe vibe or like, I don't know, just to be able to have such, to be able to have a, a variety in my wardrobe, which I really lacked. It was only really denim that I had and, and pleather. <laughs> I didn't really have suits. I had blazers, but not suits. What I actually quite like about them is because they are quite big around the waist, when I belt them, I get that paper bag 
effect. I just, I was just really pleased and I really like them. They're really good quality. They were really inexpensive for what they are and they are just really lovely. Oh, and I've got pockets. Such a find. Brand new from New Look. <laughs> Two final bits now and then we are done. So I'm gonna go with this one as the next piece I show you. So this is my new long leopard print coat. So this came from, I don't know if it's Biber, Biber, B-I-B-A. I found it in House of Frasier. I have leopard print coats in my collection, but they are all fantastic. <laughs> Try that again, shall we? <laughs> so I have other leopard print jackets in my collection, but they are all sort of a mid, a mid, mid length. They're not long, they're not short, mid. But I really wanted a long one. Obviously just to point out in case it's not clear, they're faux, they are not real. So I then spotted this, gorgeous, so gorgeous. How could, how could I refuse? Like my ring is stuck, there we go. Oh, just. I honestly, I just couldn't not buy it. <laughs> it's stunning, isn't it? It's just so pretty. Oh, and that was new. This was new. Right, the last one and then we are done. And then I need to have a cup of tea. <laughs> so, I treated myself to another pair of boots because apparently I need those in my life. And I have had my eye on a pair like this for quite a while. So Topshop, did a pair of these and then like a tanny brown orangey kind of pair which are don't get me wrong I absolutely adored but would I realistically wear them probably not but the black ones then sold out and I cry but ASOS then did their own and these ones came up and I was like oh I'll try them. They'll probably look horrendous on me because they're like a sock effect. I ordered them, they arrived, and I've worn them every day. They are so comfortable. Like the padding in the like in the sole is incredible. I thought these would absolutely cane my feet. And I think these are like shoes I could wear out to like day trips to London because they are just so comfortable. They're also an amazing quality, so they're faux leather. You've got a super duper chunky sole and heel on them. They are just perfect. They really are. They're fucking amazing. They're so beautiful. I, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so in the description box, I will link as many things as I possibly can. The likelihood is they will literally be the links for the websites and not the items themselves, just because Obviously, a few of these pieces are secondhand, so I won't be able to get you them. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again next week.